In this video, I'm going to add some text to our drawing. So as you can see on the screen, I've got three cars in a simulated little car park. And I want to put some text in front of each one of the car parking spaces. So we should put our text on our paper space if, we want, if we're going to be printed out. This is going to be a printed drawing, so I'm going to swap over to my paper space, which is on our layout. So there's my car park. And what I want to do is add some text. So what I'm going to do before this is click the properties icon and check what settings my annotation or text is set to. Right now I can see it's set to simplex 100, which means it's going to put 100 millimeter text on the screen. I'm going to swap mine to simplex 5 and have 5 millimeter text. I change the dimension styles while I'm here as well, and the leader styles as well. Right, now we've got our settings done. We can click on the annotate button and you can see in the annotate box we've got lots of things. This is where you did your dimensions or you did your revision clouds. I'm going to click on M text and I want to put a tap just in front of the first car. And what it's asking me for now is to draw a box. So I'm going to draw a box and the box is where the text is going to go. I'm going to tap again. We got a pop up screen. You can see in the bottom of the screen we've got a five telling us that our text is going to be five millimeters on the piece of paper and i'm going to write my name because it's my parking space so you can see i've got a parking space there now what i'm going to do is i'm going to do this again i'm going to annotate text and again it's asking for a box and i'm going to draw a box and tap once more Check the text size, it's still five. I'm going to say Mr. Wilson, he can have a parking space as well. And I'm going to do it once more. Sorry, wrong button. Annotate M text. I'm going to click, tap, and slide down. And we'll give Mr. Coulson parking space as well. So we can see now that the three engineering teachers have got their reserved parking spaces with text. If we were to print this, that text would appear, and we can see that we've got text on our screen. You can move the text, you can change the size of the text, we can rotate it as well. So I'm gonna go and quickly do a rotate on one of them. I'm gonna select where I want to rotate from. I'm gonna rotate it to 90 degrees, and then I can do a move. All of the commands you do, with your normal AutoCAD work, you can do with text as well. So we've got our text, we've got it rotated. It can be copied. So if I click on Mr. Wilson, click copy. It's asking me for a base point. I'm gonna click the bottom of the M. And we can now add an extra piece of text on there. And if you want to delete it, you can select that extra piece of text and click on erase. So, you now have the ability to add text to your drawing. Make sure you understand what text you need to add to your drawing and which British standard you need to be complying with.